everyone's talking about smart grids. What's driving their development? I would say the first thing and, and the most important is really around the energy challenge. By 2030, the electricity demand will double, while in the same time, uh, we have to be two times more efficient when it comes to CO2. So overall, uh, the energy challenge is about being four times more efficient through big disrupt disruptive approach within the full energy chain. Second point, we see consumers that are becoming prosumers. They want to have a choice, they want to be greener, they want to be more efficient, and they are stretching their energy supplier to be greener and to be more energy efficient. The third point is about volatile demand. In the mature economy, more and more issues of peak, dealing with peak at 7 p.m. when everybody is getting back home, uh, which is a big challenge. And in the new economies, a growth uh, erased after the energy capacity, just because those economies are growing, growing and growing. Fourth point, energy deregulation and the fact that energy markets are get, getting more open and in the same time some regulation to push more green and, and more flexibility within the grid. And the last point is about technology. More and more software, more and more communication available at low cost that is opening doors for the smart grid to really pop up and operate. So what does all this mean in practical terms? So at Schneider Electric we want to be practical and what we see on the smart grid space are four things happening all along the energy chain. First one is renewable sources popping up everywhere, popping up on distribution network, popping up in buildings, in homes, and disturbing the network. Second point is energy efficiency everywhere, which means energy visibility for users and means to act, ways to control energy, which make consumers more prosumers. Third point is about electric vehicle, uh, is about energy storage. Just to illustrate, one electric vehicle the amount of energy that is used to power 200 kilometers of an energy vehicle is equivalent to 24 hours to power a full electric house. So that means that today and tomorrow we'll have more and more energy storage, energy uh, amount of energy that will be stored in battery that will circulate in the city and disrupt the way we deal with energy. All of this is driving the grid to be much more flexible. That means more communication, more software that will force the grid to be flexible to respond to those stimulus. So what are the smart grid solutions for the future? So you said solutions with an S and I buy that. There is no single answer to smart grid. First of all, there are different setup in different countries. And second, there is no single player who can give a single answer to this very complex issue. So the key point that we have in mind when finding the answers, first one, we need to make sure that demand side users, that the users are, are absolutely a cornerstone to the transformation of the smart grid. The second point, we need players who can play both on the supply side and the demand side so that you can get a system view about this, this full ecosystem that's moving. Third point, Solution will come from collaboration. Solution will come from ecosystem of company which will be working together to imagine the solution of tomorrow. And the fourth point is about experimentation. Because in this market in the making where there is a lot of things we still don't know, we need to experiment, learn and scale up. So today what we are doing, we are developing those solutions for energy efficiency everywhere, EV charging infrastructure, renewable sources of energies, flexible distribution, preparing the field for demand response so that we can give practical answers with our network of partners to the dilemma and to the, the, to the challenges of the smart grid. What are the messages about smart grids that we should take into the future? So smart grid for us is a big challenge and I think for us collectively it is a big challenge and for Schneider Electric we see it as an amazing opportunity, an opportunity to innovate, an opportunity to change behaviors, to make the world greener, more efficient. And we see that really going forward, probably the key point to succeed will be to put the end users, whether in homes, in buildings, in industry, in data center, in infrastructure, at the center of this transformation so that we embark people within this change, within a full ecosystem of partners uh, that will come from everywhere.